Okay, so what we're looking at here is a Paragon defrost time control. This particular one we're using inside of a or on a walk-in freezer. I'm going to give you a breakdown and a brief understanding how this works. So, pretty much as the description says, you know, it's a defrost time control. So this is basically a time clock and it turns exactly like a time clock. Right here is our time. This is the time of day. This represents the time of day. You have to set it to the uh, corresponding time of day. And you can see the dark area here represents the evening hours and of course the light, the non-dark area represents our daytime hours. Each one of these pins represents the time that this system will go into defrost. And you can unscrew these pins here and screw them into any of the holes or any of the times that you want. In the middle we have a another knob with some numbers on it and these numbers represent minutes. This is called our duration time. So basically um, this represents when this how long the defrost will last if there's no other controls. In this case here it'll last 40 minutes. Okay, so now you can now that you understand this a little bit, let's look at our pins down here. We have one, two, in, X, four, and three. One and two are basically the same. And in is kind of like a neutral in this case, um, and be kind of our L two. Let me show you the wiring diagram. All right, looking at the wiring diagram, you see the same numbers here, 1, 2, N, X, 4, and 3. This control has two switches, one normally open switch and one normally closed switch. So 4 represents our normally closed switch. What that means is that anything hooked on the number 4 will be running normally. That's what you want to have running but when the unit goes into defrost that switch will open up and it'll terminate whatever that switch is controlling so when our walk-in freezer basically it'll de-energize our evaporator fan motors because we don't want heat to be dispersed in the walk-in it may also turn the system off as well when that happens during defrost this other switch at number three will close and that's going to energize our defrost. Now that could be a hot gas defrost or that could be an electric defrost. So when the pins turn to that particular time this will close and this will open and our defrost is now in effect. Alright, terminal X we can actually hook up a cycle limit switch which is either temperature or pressure control. Okay, what that means is that if you have a temperature thermostat sensor of some sort at your evaporator, when the temperature rises during defrost, that switch will close. <clears throat> and when it closes, it's going to energize this little squiggly line that completes the circuit. That squiggly line represents our solenoid that's mounted behind a defrost clock. That solenoid pushes the rod and snaps our control back into its normally open, normally closed position, which means number three switch will, will reopen back up and number four will reclose. So defrost will be terminated and number four will re-energize our evaporator fans and our system operation. Now there may be some other controls that maybe delay the fans or things like that, but for the most part defrost has now ended. So hopefully this has given you a little bit better idea and understanding of how the defrost uh, control works. This particular defrost control is a Paragon 8145-20. That 20 at the end represents a 208, 230 volt um, timer motor. So thank you and we'll talk to you again soon.